Uh, what we're going to be learning today is how to uh, change the fluid uh, on a uh, 2014 Honda Shadow uh, Aero. How to basically uh, bleed the entire uh, bleed the uh, entire system right here. So uh, some of the components, easy components that you're going to require, right? A uh, little bottle with a uh, with a hose that fits on top of the nipple. You're going to need uh, brake fluid dot four. You're going to need a, a small little syringe, okay? Uh, eight millimeter wrench, uh, flat head uh, screwdriver, and Phillips right here. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, right? Uh, we're going to go and open up uh, the top portion uh, or where the master cylinder is. Also, before you do it, please cover the bike up the way it is. So with a uh, uh, Phillips screwdriver, we're just gonna go and take uh, the, two, uh, the two screws, just put them on the side. Okay. Take this out. Okay. Then take your uh, screwdriver and just lightly lift it. Okay, there you go. Put it on the side. Then take your, uh, again, your screwdriver and slightly lift this up, okay? Just like so. Put it on the side. What I'm gonna do is I, I gotta open up the battle bottle, right? And we're gonna put a little bit of this fluid from here to here. Like this, okay? So last thing we want, we want to uh, lift the, uh, the diaphragm nice and slow. Okay. Again, then quickly have a look at the uh, the fluid in here. That fluid needs to be changed, right? And it's actually pretty black. Okay, so with this, that's why now we're gonna use the syringe. We're gonna put the syringe and we're gonna suck up uh, the fluid as much as we possibly can, okay? And we're gonna put it in, a, uh, in our container, okay? Okay, you wanna leave a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so the, uh, we have some fluid in here. Now we're gonna uh, uh, connect this in here. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna pour dot four. Okay, I just opened it uh, a few seconds ago and we're just gonna pour it in here. So that way we have the, uh, the fresh fluid going in. Okay, and a little bit more. Okay, that's how much I want. Okay, then we're gonna cover this up. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the, uh, the eight millimeter and we're gonna go down to your braking system. We're gonna open up, uh, open up the, uh, the nipple up here, insert the eight millimeter, just like so and then your hose, okay? It needs to be nice and tight. Okay, that's that's good enough. I'm just gonna put the, uh, the bottle right here in my, uh, my bag. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. At the same time, I'm gonna squeeze the brake. So I'm gonna open this up and squeeze the brake, and then you can see the fluid going out in here, okay? Now I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna pump it right here, and then I'm gonna do this one more time. Now, okay, here we go, okay, okay, here we go. So now, again, what I'm doing is I'm gonna now put pressure on it and open this up, and you can see the fluid going out. Now I'm gonna close it, Pump it, close it, pump it, open it, and close it, coming out. Now I'm going to close it. Uh, 
gonna open it. Just adjust my uh, my hose. Open the hose. You can see how many bubbles are just coming out slowly. Okay. And now I'm just gonna press it. And you also you want to check, uh, check the top so you don't run out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go and close it. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah. And what you want to do, you want to run through the entire container up here or till you see the, uh, the clear, clear fluid. Right now, uh, we already ran through uh, the, uh, the container up here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm uh, fairly satisfied with this. I'm just gonna close it. Okay, this is closed. Now I'm gonna remove the hose. Here we go. Put it away. Wipe it as best as I possibly can, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add, top up the, uh, the reservoir right here. Okay, this is good stuff. Okay, and then now we're gonna do a, uh, a reassembly. We're gonna take our uh, diaphragm, put it right here. Okay, we're gonna take our plastic, put it right here. Okay, and the top cover and we're going to screw everything back in not too tight because what you don't want to do you don't want to strip these uh, screws they just got to be uh, lightly tightened yeah just like this just like this okay make sure everything is wiped off Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're just going to check the level and apply the brake. Check the brake. Oh, yeah, and this is good. Little trick of the trade what you want to do is that for about uh, uh, 48 hours to maybe 24 hours, apply the brake. That way, all the um, bubbles are going to travel from all the way up here into the cylinder. So, what you can do is you can uh, Take a, a little bit of a string, apply the pressure, and just tighten it up. And leave this for about uh, 24 hours. Okay. Leave it like that. And come back in uh, tw uh, 24 hours, and most of the bubbles would travel all the way up, and you're going to have a much better uh, front break. All right, so uh, again, what we have learned in this uh, quick little video, this uh, little tutorial is how to change the, uh, the brake fluid on the 2014 uh, Honda Shadow uh, Aerial. And, uh, and uh, if you really like the video, please uh, subscribe and give me a like. Thank you.